Hey, what's up guys? So we got algaes. What that means is that, I'm not sure if you can see it actually. Uh, those little specks right there, those uh, brown algae. It's like a brown slash rust color. And uh, especially back there, there's like a nice layer right there. And also on the rocks, you probably won't be able to see this. There are a lot of specks of brown algae developing. So what that tells me is that there's an algae bloom, meaning there's like excess nutrient in the water. So the cycle has started. And how did I introduce those nutrient? If you did not see the video before, um, I actually had an eight gallon reef tank that had just been sitting upstairs. So I got some live sand down there and some like live rock rubble that added to the refugium. And I was hoping that this is enough to kickstart the cycle. And it looks like it was good. So I'm getting, uh, I'm getting brown algae in the main display right now, which is a good indicator. However, over the weekend, a uh, WAMES member swung by and kind of just gave me his two cents. He explained that even though I'm cycling right now, but the bio load is so small that when I start adding fish and corals, I'm experiencing another cycle. So uh, I was like, okay, so what can I do? Should I, you know, uh, should I do like a uncooked raw shrimp? So that's, that's another method of cycling. People would do um, uncooked raw shrimp and then just let, let the shrimp rot in the tank, which will create ammonia and that will kind of uh, fuel the bacterial colony that's necessary to kind of convert the ammonia into nitrites and nitrates. And um, that will basically that'll help like cultivate a really healthy bacterial colony to, that can like handle a heavier load versus like what I'm using right now, just like live rock rubble and live sand. And I will risk having another cycle once I start adding things in. So instead of doing an uncooked shrimp or even like a damsel to cycle the tank, he recommended a product called Dr. Tim's Aquatics uh, Ammonium Chlorides. Basically it's like ammonia in a bottle. I'm not sure if you can see this. Let me come over here. So Dr. Tim's Aquatic Ammonium Chloride. So I tried to find this, this bottle locally, I couldn't. Um, all the ones I see are like huge bottles, which is completely overkill. Uh, and I'm finding it online on Amazon and it's like, it's super cheap. It's like two or three bucks. Sorry, that's my parrot going crazy over there because I'm ignoring him. Um, but back to this. So I bought this and what it is just like ammonia in a bottle. So in, instead of like dropping a raw and cooked shrimp in there and waiting for it to rot and stink up the whole house, uh, this is, um, I can't really smell anything. And the direction calls for one drop per gallon. Meaning that right here I got 45 gallon up top in the display and then about 20 gallon down there in the sump. So I should be putting in 65 drops according to the measurements. However, since I already have ammonia in there, it's already cycling. Uh, I assume that that I don't need like 65 drops. Uh, I mo I'll probably put in maybe 45 drops or so to kind of like give it a lot more energy for the bacteria to kind of take on to to kind of build up its colony. So once once it's finished cycling, once the bacteria is built up, I can immediately start adding fish without having to risk going into another cycle. So that's the plan. Um, I'm gonna drop in about 45 drops and on top of that, I already got a little algae bloom. So I'll let it sit for another two or three weeks or so and we'll see. Oh, also another thing is that probably because my name is called, uh, there's a reason why I call myself an inappropriate reefer. Normally people do a lot of uh, water tests, right? But I'm either too cheap, too lazy, whatever. I kind of look for signs around the tank to uh, give me the best guesstimate on like whether the tank is ready or not. Right now I'm experiencing brown algae, uh, meaning it's kind of like started cycling or like halfway through. Uh, usually when I start seeing green algae coming up um, in the tank, that tells me that, okay, the tank is cycled, it's ready for prime time. So that's one of the signs I'm looking for. Uh, once the brown algae faded, green algae kicks in, that's when I know, okay, it's almost time to, for me to like put in easy, easy corals and like the hardier fish. So that's where I'm at, I am at right now. Um, cycling the tank, although the cycle started, I feel like it's probably not enough. So I added in some liquid ammonia drop and the waiting game continues. All right, well, hope you guys are having a good day out there. Talk to you guys later.